What's up everyone? This is Killer VZ2 and you're watching another Gun Mistakes video. Uh, in this episode, I'm actually going to be showing you two games, Dying Light and The Evil Within, starting here with Dying Light. Uh, I'm showing both of them just because neither game has a whole lot of guns and therefore not a terrible amount of mistakes to go through. So, I'm going to do two in one video. And now we'll start here. Uh, Starting with something I like to do is go over like common mistakes with all guns before getting into the individual ones. And here, uh, with pistols, <laughs> wrong button. With pistols, uh, you have the American, the German, you have this anti-gatoid, which is a goof gun, and Rice's gun, which is like a legendary, rare, good gun you find from a quest. But we're going to be focused on here. American and German 9mm pistols. Um, but if you look here, let me get into the light. It says Haran Arms Company at the front. That means it's made here in Haran. Clearly not Germany and clearly not America. So, you know, chalk that up to a mistake. Next, um, I'm going to be showing you here. Right now there's eight rounds in this pistol. Shoot one. There's seven. You dump a mag out. There should still be one in the chamber and you should have nine now. Um... The pistols do not give you the plus one in this. The rifles don't either give you the extra one in the chamber. However, I'm not going to say it's a mistake because with the rifles, he manually uh, uses the charging handle after every reload, which would eject the other one. And it is technically proper form to do so. So it's not going to be a mistake that you can't get the plus one in the chamber there. Uh, what else? Ah, yes, here. As you can see, I have... 14 rounds in this American one, and I have, you know, 8 rounds here plus the 6. Guns in this game don't just take their ammo from the maximum ammo pool. They actually steal their ammo from each other. So here, watch what happens. Shoot my 8 rounds here. Load it up. And now the American one only has 6 rounds. So that's kind of silly mistake. Uh... In my opinion, it should just, I mean, obviously it should just pull from your, uh, you know, maximum inventory ammo, but it does pull from the, uh, right there. It does pull from the other guns. As you can see, I just did it the other way, shooting with the American, and it took all the German bullets out. So, definitely a mistake. Now that the guns are empty, I can actually show you another mistake, and this is, with these pistols, they click. Uh, with the slide open like this, the trigger should not be you know putting pressure on the hammer and there should be no auditory you know click coming from the gun both of these guns do this as does the burst pistol here uh, there should be no uh, clicking here I'll actually get into the uh, specific problems with certain guns uh, the American 9mm really doesn't have any problems other than the clicking and the plus one uh, as you can see, the slide locks back on a full emptying of the clip, and you can actually, you know, see down into the barrel and stuff like you would be able to. In fact, I'll show you how it's not supposed to look by moving on to the German 9mm pistol. As you can see, you can't see down into the barrel. It's like the uh, barrel slid back with it, and, you know, as the slide goes back, Bullets would not be able to, or the spent shells would not be able to come out whenever you pull the uh, trigger and fire the weapon. This can also be seen on the Rice's, on Rice's pistol, uh, because it's basically just the German 9mm with a, you know, fancy engraved, like, skin on it. And, as you can see, the, uh, like, barrel slides back with it as well, and no shells will be able to come out of the gun. Which brings us to the last pistol here, which is the anti-gatoid gun, which not going to say really any mistakes because this is just a goof gun, does no damage. Um, it basically just makes noise and attracts zombies, uh, which is a pain in the ass, but not a mistake, just a stupid easter egg goof gun. And that brings us to this game's long guns. Uh, the military rifle which is fully automatic, the police rifle, which is uh, semi-automatic, and the double barrel shotgun, which I'm kind of disappointed that there's only one shotgun in this game. Um, there's multiple of everything else, so kind of wish there was just, you know, a pump just for a little more variety. But let's move on. 
Uh, no real problems with the military rifle. You know, it's just a fully automatic. Like I said, you reload, and he, you know, cocks the handle, you know, manually, which means there's no problem with not having a plus one. Same thing with the police rifle. It's semi-automatic, and then when you go to reload it, you know, he cocks it right there, so no problems not having the plus one there either. Now let's move on to the double barrel. Let me take this person out here real quick. Okay, as you can see, you know, pull a trigger once, one barrel, pull it again, the other barrel goes. However, watch this. You pull one trigger, he empties both shells and leaves it on the ground. So that would be a waste of a shell. And another thing I want to show you, which let's just get right down to the end here, is watch this. Okay. I have one. Whoops. Get these guys out of here. Messing up my video. Alright. <laughs> As you can see, I have one shell left in my inventory. However, I reload. He pops two into it, which doesn't make sense because I didn't have an extra one. So, that'll bring us to the end of the Dying Light gun mistakes, and we'll move on to the Evil Within. Like I said, not a whole lot. Okay, now we're here with the Evil Within, and let's get started on some gun mistakes. We'll start with the machine gun here, and the problem is, no matter whether it's a full empty or reload when he saw some rounds in it, let me show you right here, he never cocks the gun, ever, which means the gun would not fire, there's no bullets in the chamber, and, you know, nothing would happen when he pulls the trigger. Next, we have the sniper rifle, and I'm only going to show you one of them, because they both act exactly the same way, except the armor piercing has more penetration, but here you can see a couple of things. A, pay attention to whenever I go to reload this, right here, a shell should have flown out. And another thing is, no matter how many you empty, he only ever loads two into the gun. So right there, I shot like four rounds, two in, and it's fully reloaded. Next, we're going to have the, skip the rocket launcher, the pump shotgun. Again, he only ever loads two. So let me, there's three out. And again, pay attention, just like the sniper rifle, he's going to cock it and put shells in right there he only put two in and when he cocked it like I'll show you again right here watch when he's done putting them in loads two pumps it another shell doesn't fly out despite there still being shells in the gun uh, next we'll move on to the double barrel shotgun and this basically acts just like the dying light shotgun no matter how many times you shoot it he, he dumps out two and no matter how many you have left uh, he loads in two so pretty much the same as Dying Light. Then we move on to the Magnum. I'm also just gonna go over the Magnum, not the Magnum and the Revolver, because they both act exactly the same, except the Magnum's just, you know, the power weapon in this game. No matter how many you shoot, he always dumps out every round in it. And no matter how many you shoot, he always pops in like three, two or three. I can't really tell because I have all the upgrades, so he's reloading really fast, but Again, just like all the other guns, he only loads in like two. Then, that's going to bring us to, skip the revolver, the burst handgun. Which, in my opinion, um, doesn't really have anything wrong with it. Um, you could argue that the slide doesn't lock back when it's emptied, which not necessarily all guns do that and you could also argue that the hammer's back but it could be double action um so none of the things that you could argue are wrong are necessarily wrong since it's not exactly you know a, a production like pistol i don't think i've ever seen a production 1911 ish type of burst handgun so I'm gonna make a judgment call and say there's nothing wrong with this. It's just a, you know, fun, unlockable, you know, gun you can get in the game. So that'll about do it for Dying Light and the Evil Within gun mistakes. As always, these are extremely nitpicky. I enjoy both these games, um, but, you know, I just point out certain things I notice, you know, mistakes with the guns, hence gun mistakes. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. And I hope I'll see you 